our vision. Here's our record. Let them take a glimpse of the vision. I forgot. You were trying to defend the weak shit of of the men. No, I'm always gonna lose. No, uh-uh. Cause at the end of the day, okay, this this is the point that I didn't get to make. I didn't get to make. Okay, it ain't none of your damn business how much food I got in my house because I got these kids. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's talk about that. Period. No, because no, we're not done with that because you feel like you made a good point and it's bothering me. We could do this all day because listen to me, that's not fair. And the reason why I say it's not fair is because at the end of the day, if you're not doing 50% like of that work that she is putting in. It's never going to be 50, so stop. Even if the nigga's putting in 90% of the money, he's still not in the It's not about the money. What about who bringing these kids to the doctor? Who That's bringing these kids saying. to the... It'll never be 50%. Even it if, would. Even if because I just as much as he got to make his money, she do too. So why does she have to bring the kids to the doctors and school and go to work too? When you only going to work. That's not fair. All right, listen. You 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 want the woman to make sure that your kid look good, hair done, all that, ah, uh, but you don't take the kid to go get the hair done. You don't take the kid to fucking, well, feel me? I don't feel like I can't keep up because she'll throw that in my face that I'm not around 24-7, you're not feeding them three meals a day, but I pay for everything. Like, literally everything except for the rent. I ain't gonna act like I pay the rent and shit over there, the rent and the bills. I don't pay that, but the... Extracurricular activities, the clothing, all of that shit, I'd be paying for that. That's not enough. No, but this is the thing. The thing um, of the matter is she just sick of you. Let's just keep it a buck. You done pissed her off to the point where, like, it don't even matter. At the end of the day, like, even if you was around, right, and your money was to get low, and now you're you're around, right, there's always going to be something. At the end of the day, you got to realize, like, when you have a person and you put them in a predicament where y'all are making children together, you have to know that you are giving that person a grave responsibility, for the rest of your life, right? So at the end of the day, when are y'all gonna do that? Like I did that, I wasn't around for a while. And then this person was then he wasn't around for a while. Like that shit is always fucked up. When you bring kids into a situation, that shit just never like it's never gonna be even. That shit is stressful as fuck. Especially with a person that y'all not I don't know if y'all got you don't know if you're gonna make it, you do you are gonna make it, y'all gotta pass. Like that shit just too fucking toxic. So I would say to everybody, like if you can don't make fucking kids with nobody. It's annoying. It's annoying. And let me tell you why it's annoying. It's annoying because you want, you have this thought process in your mind when you have a kid. Everybody does before the kid is born and all that. Oh, that whole nine months is already stressful by itself, real shit. Like, you want to prepare for that baby. You think about that baby. Oh, what the hand's going to look like, the feet, all that. And then when the baby get here and shit like that, it's not about the relationship you have with that child. It's being broken because you thought in your mind that it was going to go a certain type of way. Like, this was going to happen. This was going to happen. And us women, when we having children, we think, we try to plan shit out every time and it don't work. Okay. You get what I'm saying? I'm speaking, like, for the women. All right, do you, so speak for the women on this. If a man tells you, he want an abortion and you still have it. Do you think the woman is awesome? She's dumb. And I say that all the time. And why Why I'm saying she's dumb? Because at the end of the day, when, you, when it's two people that made a child, even though it's your body, right? When two people make a child, they both get a decision. And if there's one, it takes one no. Whether that's the female, because I have male friends that actually, they never been through that. They the ones who, you know, wanted to keep their, those kids. And she still got rid of them, or the woman got rid of them kids. So, no, but listen, and it's so crazy, because honestly, on some real shit, I never met. I, that's what I have experienced. I've never met, like, somebody who, like, feel me? Like, a nigga want, ah, bitch, go get that, ah, ah. Like, nah. All them niggas wanted their kids, bro. They want to take care of their kids. You feel what I'm saying? So... It's, it, it only takes one no And if the females say no It ain't happening If the guys say no Then it ain't happening Bro that shit ain't okay It's not okay If that person is telling you Oh you you better go get an abortion Cause I'm not I'm not helping you Oh be a single mother I, I, That little single mother shit And everything else Bro that shit ain't cute That shit hurt For real though Niggas really kill they stuff like that. That, that It's a beautiful Spanish girl And rest in peace to her She just had two small children She killed herself last year Just killed herself And she put a post up Can't go to the bathroom But in peace You can't She wanna be able to go to the bathroom Not even do nothing You wanna just do something regular Like be able to ha take a shit in peace You can't That shit is It drives you crazy So you gotta think about When you having kids and shit Bitches kill their kids bro it's no, it, it's nothing about like the shit y'all got going on and everything else. It's about mental health. That shit real. And the bitch really could go to jail for that shit for the rest of her life because she'll kill herself, her nigga, and her kids. Feel me? Then this bitch would be the only one that survived and she still don't want to be here. You know what I'm saying? 
That shit real. Like us women, we so emotional, bro. If you look at the statistics of the people that's in a psych world, it's mainly women that's in a fucking psych world. Like we crazy. No. We break way easier than men. Our mental, once that mental that mental breaks, it's a wrap. You can't tell the difference between fucking reality and a movie. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like and you can't keep putting your heart out there and shit. <laughs> Go against gang, you going to sleep. We gon' play for keeps here. No pork on the fork, call headshot eats. We deliver that beef here.